Hello, uh, this is Matthew Robert Payne and this is a prophecy from Micah. I'm, I'm, I'm assume that's how you pronounce your name. Um, this is just something from Ben. For uh, I prophesied over Bethany once and Ben once and so he thought he'd uh, get you a prophecy. Um, as I was uh, preparing uh, for um, your prophecy, um, I got something that sounded a little bit uh, insulting, but um, I hope I explain it so it doesn't sound insulting. <laughs> um, I got a picture of um, you in the center and the whole universe uh, revolving around you. And um, I get a feeling that uh, I know someone else like that too, and uh, she's a good friend of mine, and. She seems like the whole universe is there for her and um, and um, so you must be a real lovable person like that and uh, Jesus wants you to know that um, he's at the center of your universe and so you revolve around him even though uh, people are really attracted to you too uh, that he's at the center of your universe and um, you revolve around him and he wanted you to know um, I think that um, you're yeah, really uh, outgoing, uh, really uh, joyful, bubbly sort of person uh, from the sounds of things and um, you've uh, got this uh, real strength in your personality, um, a real uh, uh, not, it's a, it's a real strength, it's um, you, you're not a person who shoves it in someone's face, you're not a person who rubs uh, so it in someone's face when they're wrong but um, you can certainly voice your opinion in such a way that people will be quiet. Um, uh, you, uh, one of my favorite sayings to some people is uh, if you knew more you'd say less buddy um, and uh, you've got to get me pretty ticked off uh, for me to say that saying and um, I, I think that uh, you've got um, authority uh, in your voice, uh, Jesus has given you an anointing and it says in the Bible that um, people were impressed with Jesus as he spoke with someone that, that had authority and um, I think that the Lord has given you authority and uh, people listen to you. Um, you're, um, I, I feel that um, you're a person who is capable in many areas and um, it could pretty well choose uh, whatever she wants to do with her life and she'd be successful at it. Uh, you'd be successful at it. Um, uh, similar to my friend too that um, uh, that I said the world revolves around. Um, what else? Uh, um, so that's just a little bit about you. Uh, Jesus has told me just a little bit about you. Um, um, he tells me that uh, you um you're a visionary uh you're a person who um has big visions and big dreams but more than more than dreams like um uh, uh steve jobs was a visionary uh, bill gates is a visionary um visionaries like not only achieve their dreams but they impact the whole uh, community they impact the whole nation and um, I feel uh, that you've got ideas and and you've got a personality and you've got that authority that anointing on your life that could uh, change your country or change your state uh, depending on what you do um, I I, um, I just get a word uh, missions uh, in in my um, in my head where thoughts come to strangely enough and um, I, I feel that um, you'd be uh, very useful in missions uh, you'd be very useful to the Lord uh, in that area I don't know if you thought about that um, uh, before uh, this word I, I assume you would have uh, if God's bringing it up again um, but um, I, I feel I feel almost like that um, you mightn't be like a missionary. I, I just, 
I can just feel that you'd be important to another nation, to a poor nation, that your visionary ideas would impact that nation. So not necessarily a missionary on the mission field with Heidi Baker, for instance, but someone with Heidi Baker's as big enough organisation could come in and work for the organisation and do big things for her, not just as a healer or as an evangelist or uh, someone who comes on short-term missions, but someone could make long-term decisions and big decisions that affect her 10,000 orphans and affect uh, the country of Mozambique, uh, for instance. So just using Heidi Baker because I know she's big enough. But someone like World Vision or something that you could come and make a big impact to their organisation by just walking in and watching things and saying, why do you do things like that? Why don't you do it this way? Well, we've always done it. Yeah, but it'd be better if we did it. And this paper and this paper suggests that it'd be better doing it this way. Let's do it this way. And if you had the power and the authority and the anointing to do that, um, you'd, you'd make a good impact. Um, um, you're um, a very interesting family. I've, um, prophesied over your mother and, and father and Jesse and um, and I've met Bethany and prophesied over her and um, we're all uh, strong um, um, you, your mother um, has raised some strong and uh, um, amazing children um, Jesse's amazing and Bethany's amazing and uh, you're amazing uh, what a what a family to be married into. I, I don't know. Ben must be amazing too to marry into such a family. Um, um, I say um when I haven't got anything to say. <laughs> no, it's terrible, isn't it? There's a lot of ums around. Uh, I see. Um, I see a bright light, and uh, it's um, it's in Isaiah sixty. Um, I'm not sure if you know the passage, uh, but uh, I'll read it just uh, so that uh, you've got a record of it here. Uh, Arise and shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and deep darkness the people, but the Lord will arise over you and his glory will be seen upon you. The Gentiles shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. I, I feel the glory of the Lord is going to glow on you. You've already got the authority and you've already got the anointing by God and you've already got the favour, um, but his glory is going to come and rise over you. And um, from time to time, people will say that your skin is glowing. And um, you're going to have authority like the Queen of Sheba, you know. Uh, so uh, that's a big thing to say. Um, but I heard the Lord say big things over Bethany, so um, I'm sure you can handle it. Um, so um, it's the, the, the picture I got when I saw the bright light was the sun. And um, the sun's a star in the centre of the universe. And like we started the word it's like uh, you're like the center of your universe and everything revolves around you um it's true but within you christ light shines within you underneath through you christ light shines to the world um you take uh, away his authority and his anointing and you wouldn't be as great as you are now but you're a great person um so um I hope uh, this has blessed you so far. Um, I um, uh, hope that you can give me some feedback um, um, on my uh, website. Um, uh, and uh, God bless you. I hope it encourages you.